Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. plague cross on the door? My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Antony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Melichar said the dead should be buried at once. Of course I'll help you. Thank you. We have to bury him at the back of the house. There's a lovely linden tree there. I understand. I'll dig the grave there. Thank you. When you're ready, come back. I'll say goodbye for now. Such a senseless waste. Will you please tell me about his illness? Certainly. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like it had been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. He must have hurt terribly. Thank you. I'll be with you. What's happened here? Things are bad. Very bad. First we get attacked by them brigands, barely come out of that alive, and now the plague. Plague, you say? Indeed so. Something's up with the village. Even the livestock are dying. It, it's a gruesome sight. I'm looking for Matthias. He works as a stable hand at the stud farm. Matthias? The brigands got in, poor lad. He's lying wounded at the stud. Tell me more about this plague. The old stud. Livestock. Sheep. Chicken. Old dead or dying. No doubt the people will be next. Melika's old woman's taken to her bed. And it doesn't look good. Straw's wife and brother. Oh, more and more. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. That'll be all for now. Take care now. Hal? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? He took me into his garrison. Hal, the blacksmith's boy, in the service of his lordship. Who'd have ever thought it? My luck hasn't been so good. But you survived. That's something to thank God for. True enough. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? 
Folk are saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Oh, damn! Are you all right? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Why, old Melahar let him have it over the head with a flail, and now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why is that? That fucker killed young Straw, and his old man's sharpening a sickle for him. Melahar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Malachar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Lives have been lost. First the raid and now this plague. God knows what they'll do. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whoresons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. About this sickness, where did this plague start? The day after the raid, the horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba, although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Good morning. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did, before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I asked sent me to you. Oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well. Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. Don't pay any attention. They're just rumours. I'm still his housekeeper. Father Francis no longer needs a housekeeper. What? Don't tell me he's found a new one. No, he, um, died. Mary, Mother of God! What happened to him? Did they murder him? Uh, kicked in the head by a horse, and he never recovered. I always told him not to be afraid of them, but he was, and those hellish beasts always were able to smell it. I can imagine. 